now that all this is done we'll go to the next step and we will uh, generate the girders so uh, referring to this figure we will have to generate the girders for uh, the section CS2, CS3 and CS4 uh, the bridge is divided like that so 36, 33, uh, 36 so um, and we'll use the section 1, the section 2 and section 3 so this is important uh, for the construction stage after and here you have the method to generate that into a uh, MIDAS civil so let's come back to MIDAS civil and I will show you how to do that let's go first to the top view and verify that the snap option are uh, selected on uh, on position so nodes and elements are selected now uh, click on node element tab and create node and we'll create the first node at 00, zero coordinate then we will copy this node at a distance in y direction of 6.15 which is uh, actually the distance between the two main um, beams and click on apply now you have your two nodes one here and one here now we'll use the extrude function to create the beams so you have to click first on select all to select the two nodes then uh, choose node line element uh, element attribute it will be beam material A53 section section 1 uh, gen generation time translate and here we'll choose unequal distance so it is in this window that we will define the distance so uh, don't choose the axis x and here in the distance we can enter um, how we'll define the different nodes so one four three at five one four Five at five four one three at five four one seven at five. Now you just have to click on apply and we have your whole bridge. So it's quite easy to create uh, this kind of bridge model. Now we will define the section uh, directly like that. So we will directly drag and drop the section from the walk tree on the bridge model. So let's come back to the top view you can hide the section of the bridge and here close this menu and go in the walks tab now uh, the section 2 uh, actually the section 1 has already been defined for all the beams so we only have to change uh, the section 2 and section 3 so the selection the elements selected uh, for the section 3 will be from 13, 17 to 40 so 17 to 40 enter and it will be selected automatically here now you only have to take the section and to draw, drag and drop it on the screen to assign these uh, section to these elements now for the last construction stage uh, we have to assign the section 3 so again we enter the element 41 2 
66 uh, enter the element will be selected and we have to drag and drop the section to assign it now we'll generate the cross beams so to do that we can activate the nodes number uh, we'll first create an element so for the first element we'll do will be simply by uh, so here you see you cannot select the nodes so this is because um, I unactivate the snap for the nodes so activate the snap again now you can focus on the node select these two elements and you created your first cross beam to generate the others will uh, first of all go back to the node elements tab choose translate and select these elements so we can use the feature uh, select recent entity because we just created this new element now use the copy mode uh, we'll use equal distance here uh, it will be in the x direction 5 and the number of time will be uh, the length of the bridge divided by 5 because we have some cross girder every 5 meters now uh, click on apply and it will generate automatically all the cross beams